So by knowing our history, by knowing, let's say, what I call the history of stereotypes, for example, we might be better equipped to understand also what is happening right now. Brexit on yksi näistä ilmiöistä, jotka liittyvät siihen. Siihen liittyvät myös populismin nousu. Ja populismi onkin sellainen asia, mitä meillä Helsingin yliopistossa tutkitaan aika paljon. Jos lähinnä jossain, että mikä on Eurooppa, keitä on eurooppalaiset ja miten näitä rakennetaan, näitä kaikki konsepteja. Ne on kaikki tosi abstraktioita. Että täältä voi katsoa niin kuin tavallaan tämmöisestä Euroopan kulmalta Eurooppaa. Ja Helsingin läheisyys Venäjään, Itä-Euroopan maihin ja samaan aikaan Pohjoismaihin tekee siitä ainutlaatuisen ja täällä kohtaavat erilaiset kulttuurit, vaikkei sitä heti ehkä katukuvasta huomaakaan. I guess Finns and people here in, in Helsinki are sometimes fairly critical about uh, what goes on in elsewhere in Europe. Finland has a very dramatic history, it has had very significant internal political military conflicts. It was a country heavily involved in World War II and suffered from the war a lot. But also Finns know when things go well, what kind of economic prosperity, what kind of cultural flourishing can come uh, from a kind of Europe that uh, is uh, peaceful and that has institutions that deliver well-being. Well, the coldness, like the people are, people are a little bit shy. But when you get to know them, after a while, they really, they are really becoming real friends that you can count on. We want to give our students freedom uh, to explore and follow their own initiative, because we think that true innovation comes only, and not learning, as well, comes only from mixing different influences. So Helsinki is a good place to mix different influences, mix information and learning from different fields. And I think this kind of synthetic thinking, combining different perspectives, is what is typical for a student who has studied in the University of Helsinki. No, it's nimenomaan tämä, että on hiukan enemmän sitä vapautta valita, mutta sitten katsotaan vapauden kanssa tai kanssa pikkään sitä vastuuta. My sales pitch would be, just go and look at the people. Helsinki looks quite different from many other European cities. It's very Nordic, and at the same time, it's also out of Eastern Europe. So I would advise people to go and uh, look at the buildings, look at the people, look at the different layers and the different influences that we can see in the people here, and also uh, people who have moved in to Finland in the last 20 years, and the kind of new multiculturality that is typical for uh, city like Helsinki in today's Europe.